Rev up your engines! It's time for Scotty Kilmer. I'm going to give some warnings. I'm going to talk about bad things that you shouldn't do to your cars. The first thing is, don't steam clean your engine. It's all right to clean the outside of your car with one of these cleaners. But don't clean the engine. There's too many electronic parts you can destroy. Some people have this cleanliness thing where they want everything to be clean, but hey, you don't live under the hood and you don't eat your lunch there, so just leave the grease alone. I've had quite a few customers do thousands of dollars of damage to all the sensitive electronics, spraying them with steam. So just leave it. It doesn't hurt anything being a little dirty. And if you have some really dirty spots, use some brake cleaner and just hose it off with that. It evaporates and all the oil will be gone. Just keep water far away from your engine and electronics. The next bad thing not to do is electronic too. Never remove one of the battery cables while the car is running. Years ago guys used to do that to see if the alternator was charging. If they took a cable off and the car ran they knew the alternator was working. But modern electronic fuel injected cars have computers in them and if you do that you can burn the computer out. So never take it off while it's running. If you're worried about the charging system, have somebody with one of these checkers check it. Most stores like AutoZone do it for free in the parking lot anyway. The next bad thing not to do is never drive a car when the temperature gauge gets to the H. I've seen more people blow engines driving a car when it gets to the H until it stops running and then the engine's gone. Now if you notice that your temperature gauge starts to rise you can quick turn the heat on because when you do that they can start dissipating heat through the heater and if the gauge starts to drop then you could drive it to a safe place and get it fixed but never drive it with the temperature all the way to the H. Because even a $150 tow job beats a $4,000 engine job. The next bad thing not to do is don't waste your money on gimmicks that say you're going to get better gas mileage if you stick them on your car. This particular one claimed that it made the air go like a vortex in a tornado and give you better gas mileage. It doesn't do anything except waste your money. Another bad thing not to do is not to pay any attention to your tires. Checking air pressure is simple and easy. And a lot of people say, well, nobody has air pumps at gas stations anymore, but hey, get your own. I stick them in all the trunks of my cars. I bought this Husky at a Lowe's. It cost $8. It just plugs in the cigarette lighter and then just screws onto the tire. Then one push and it's on. They come with built-in gauges, so when it gets to whatever pressure you want, you just turn it off. And they come with really long extension cords so you can do all four tires. No more excuses. And it's really better to fill your tires at home anyway because you always want to put tire pressure in when the tires are ice cold. Once you drive it they get hot and the pressures will be different. And the last bad thing not to do, as dumb as it sounds, is don't put the wrong fluids in the wrong containers. Over the years I've seen everything from power steering and radiators to engine oil and brake fluid containers. Don't do it. I've seen people put power steering fluid in a brake system. It can do thousands of dollars of damage if you have an anti-lock brake system that will destroy the whole system. And in many modern cars it's even more complicated than that. They'll often use a special power steering fluid or a special transmission fluid. So look up your car to make sure you're using the right fluid for it. So now you've learned from other people's mistakes, and you won't have to pay dearly like they did. And remember, if you have any car questions, just visit scottykilmer.com.